Happy Friday! Hi, Stampers! Let's see, am I on? There was a message there, so there I am. Okay. Looks like I'm on. So we've got, I keep getting a connection message. Hopefully we won't. Mm. I think what the problem is, is we're having some, uh, we're having a patio put in. I'm really excited about that on, on the front of our house. And um, they're out there sawing with a concrete saw, I think. It's loud, whatever it is, because they have to tear up, take out our old sidewalk and stuff. So that's happening right now. And our um, cable lines and stuff like that run under that area. So I'm thinking that's why I'm getting that message. So hopefully I won't lose you. But um, I'm going to go ahead and get my camera up on the mount here and get going. Just put lotion on my hands and they're slippery. Oh good, there, I was able to get it in there without dropping it. And I think we're almost set. All right. Okay, so I'm playing with um, a few different sets and dies here. I'm going to be using um, the Gorgeous Rose and Leaves from the Healing Hugs set. So that one. I'm going to use the pretty um, perfume bottles there from the Fanciful Fragrance set. Let's see what's going on here. And from the Meant to Be set, I'm going to use the Happy Valentine's Day. And I guess that's all in that one. And then for dies, I am using um, the stitched shape framelits. I'm going to be using a, a circle one. And from the Be Mine stitched framelits dies, I am using my leftovers from last week's card um, when I cut out things using these. I, I said in that one, don't, don't throw away your, you know, the pieces that are left over because you can use them on something else. And they worked perfect for what I'm doing today. So there's that. All right. So let me just bring in my doodah here. I said doodah because I can't remember what we call these. <laughs> ah, okay. It's all right. And let's see. Which is which? I am going to... I guess I'll stamp the rose first, so I'm going to use that piece. And I'm using the very vanilla cardstock. And let me get my rose. Hi, Kim. Why can't I remember what we call these? Hate that. It's just because I have my mind on too many things. Okay, so the colors that I'm, I've got one rose already stamped and uh, stamped. I didn't cut it out yet, but I stamped it with the Mary Merlot, and that's what it looks like. And then this one I'm going to stamp with um, Flirty Flamingo. Okay. 
And this rose, I just think it stamps up so pretty. This set is um, for sending, you know, feel get well soon cards or, um, yeah, it's for sending well wishes to someone who's not feeling well or maybe has had a surgery or something. But the the rose and the other stamps in it besides the the um sayings are just so pretty and you can use those anytime gorgeous i just love that rose it's so pretty okay get that wiped off there and I'm not playing music I think I've played music the last couple of videos but the last one even though I just had it like on what I would call elevator music it was a tropical one um, it popped up on the copyright things and I was that video was blocked in um, Canada <laughs> So, yeah, I thought that was funny that I had been blocked in Canada, eh? And uh, so I figured it was just best to not worry about playing any music in the background, even though it kind of fills in the quiet spots, but... Um, is what it is Stamparatus. There it is. It's $49. And it is the best, um, like, placement, whatever you want to call it, kind of tool because there's so many different things you can do with it to line things up and make borders and... Um, I've got like four different plates for mine. They pop in and out. You can move it up and down like this. You can have two plates on at one time. You can put stamps on both sides, flip it around. It's just, it's really a cool tool, even though I can't remember what it's called. Okay. Now, I'm just, I meant to have this one actually cut out so I didn't have to take the time to cut them both out and have you watch me fussy cut. However, I'm leaving a bit of a border and so it's not going to take much time at all for me to get these cut out. And I did go ahead and cut the leaves out. I stamped those ahead and cut those out so we won't have to worry about the fussy cutting of those. There isn't a die for this set, but you never know when they'll come out with dies for different sets, so. I had to shut the doors to my stamp room so that the dogs wouldn't go tearing into the living room because they can see the guys out there working and uh, create some barking chaos with that. So they are stuck in here with me. These colors look really pretty together. Sometimes I think things get put together that you wouldn't think about color-wise, but I think they look really pretty together anyway. I 
I was thinking that this set was one of those distinctive stamp sets, but it's not because I'm pretty sure that those are all made out of the photopolymer and they say on the set that they are and this one doesn't say, but it's just got so much um, self shading in it and it's, I just think it makes, it's so pretty and so easy because all you have to do is stamp it. You don't have to color it. All right, there we go. There's the two roses. And I just wanted to get the stamping done and then we can start putting it together. So I'm gonna stamp the perfume bottles got really really strong magnets too okay let me get those and that is again the fanciful fragrance set I like this set because it's really kind of vintage looking so pretty Let's see, I think I want to move that magnet because I'm going to be die cutting that out with a circle die, so I need to leave room around it there. And this is going to get heat embossed, so I'm going to ink this up with Versamark. And I'm going to um, emboss it with gold powder. Now my phone's ringing. It's just going to have to ring. So I posted on Facebook. We got, maybe this is that call again because they've called a couple of times today. And it's a scam call. They leave a message saying, I mean they make it sound like they're Amazon and that something that I ordered is going to be delivered to Dayton, Ohio. Um, so if there's no further instruction, you know, whatever. But if I didn't place that order, you know, then to call their fraud prevention department, I just thought the whole thing, I mean, I thought, okay, it sounds like it's being a courtesy call, but, um, I just had a funny feeling about it, so I got on the internet and looked up the phone number. And um, there were several other people that had, uh, it showed up on a website. I can't remember the, the name of the web, website, but it's where um, they let people know that those calls are scam calls. And so I did not call the number back. It was a little, little bothersome because um, our friends had something happen, only someone really did use their uh, Amazon account and ordered a big screen TV. And this was right before Christmas. And um, they actually, I think, had to pay to have that TV shipped back. Okay, I think I'm good. Let me heat this real quick. I would have done it here where you could see, but um, 
My cord doesn't reach that long. Hi, Deborah Lee. So anyway, I, I can't remember now if they were able to get that um, shipping to have that TV shipped back refunded or or not. But we had um, something, it wasn't with Amazon, um, but something similar happened where an iPhone showed up at our house delivered by UPS and that was a scam. Somebody else had used our information to order a phone and I think what they do is they watch for the delivery confirmation and if it gets left on your doorstep, they come along then and, and grab it or else it um, could be inside jobs, sad to say, by the delivery um, folks too. So it, we turned that into the police and um, UPS ended up calling us because it also went to their fraud department. So I think they have to check, you know, on their, the whole inside part on that. Which it's just so sad. Okay, so I'm going to use the largest circle die from the stitched frame die or stitched shapes framelit dies. And I'm going to cut that out and I just want to put a little bit of stuff on it here to hold it. I'm just going to cut that out real quick. Okay, here we go. Now I made this card as a sample yesterday and learned from it what I didn't want to do on my card today. That's one advantage of making yourself, well you get the idea of course, then you have to make one to make sure your idea is going to work. And so yeah. I've got cards to share with you at the end of this video also from um, a stamp -a stack event that I went to last Saturday. Hi, Cindy. Thanks for joining, you guys. Okay, so now we have that and this. Let me bring in these pieces. So these are the leaves I cut from that same... Um, Healing Hugs set right there. And I stamped them using Garden Green. So Garden Green, Mary Merlot, and Flirty Flamingo are the colors. And then this gorgeous paper is from that, um, you can get it for free during celebration and it's this gorgeous bee paper, Golden Honey. Um, so with a $50 order, you could choose this packet if you want. And it's got a lot of the pretty gold foil ones in there. And so I have a piece of the Mary Merlot. And it is cut to five and a quarter by um, four. And then this one is cut five by three and three quarters. And I think at this point, I'm just going to go ahead. That's the back side. I'm just going to go ahead and attach this piece. Oops. My ETG is being a little... Cranky here. Let me try that again. There we go. Okay. Now 
now then, I am going to want that to go there and this to go over here. And let's see. So I'm just thinking because I don't want to make the same mistake that I made the first time around. Well, not that it was a mistake, but I just wasn't real happy with the way it turned out. So I've got a very vanilla card base here. I'm going to go ahead and put this on there. So they are going to put a compass in our the cement of our patio, you know, the design. So that'll be cool. They're going to sand wash it to give it the texture because living here on the coast, we didn't want anything with any kind of deep grooves where... Um, pine needles and other stuff could collect in the grooves and it always having to be a chore to get it clean. So I'm going to take a piece of sponge and just ink around the edges of this a little bit with the Mary Merlot. Actually, before I do that, because this is the part that I messed up on, I want to put it on here because it's going to hang off the edges a little bit, and I want to snip that off so that I can ink up what I snip off. So what I should have done, I wonder if I could just roll a piece of this. I bet I can. Maybe. And put it on here. Okay. Now... Yay! Okay. Perfect. Now I will ink. Okay. I hope this turns out the way I'm hoping that it does. Okay, now also what I learned from the first card, I put glue on the back of this. And when I put it down, I could see exactly where I had put the glue on the back. And I thought, okay, I don't like that. So I'm going to try this and see if this works better because I didn't, and probably nobody else would really notice that, especially maybe a stamper would, I don't know, but I just wasn't happy with that. And I don't think, yeah, not gonna have that issue with doing it that way. Now this little frame, however, what did work really good was using the Tombow and I just did some little dots and this stuff dries really quick so you need to go pretty fast. 
but just doing these little dots worked really well. Okay. And you want to make sure you're getting it where you want it because it's going to be over the top of that foil. And you don't want glue spots on your foil because it's impossible really to get it off. Cute. Okay, so there's that. Oops, and there is a little bit of glue right there. We're not going to worry about it. Okay, now then, I think I will do the roses next. So I'm going to do, oh, it's so pretty. All right, um, do I want to use glue? Actually, I think I'm just going to do this. This one I'm going to pop up with dimensionals. I know I did a little bit of overkill on this. I just don't want the edges to kind of curl up. I ordered a couple of sets I don't have, and that's the dog and the cat set. I've been wanting them. I just had been debating them, debating did I want them that bad, and finally I just keep seeing so many cute things with the dog and the cat set out of the annual catalog that I decided I wanted them, so I ordered them. And when those come in, I saw somebody show a really great tip for um, something to do with mounting the new cling stamps because they're extra, extra clingy. I mean, they really cling well. So um, when I get that set, I'm going to, um, let's see here. I might need to pull that up a little bit. I'm going to show you that tip because I thought it was excellent. So hopefully um, I can do that next Friday for Friday Fun Day. I think I put that rose up just a little bit higher than I did on my other one because the leaves were showing a touch more. Okay, this one... I think I'll put just a little bit of glue down here at the bottom, but then I'm going to put a dimensional at the out here and there. Pretty, and I'll do the same thing with this one. Now this card, I'm gonna go ahead and stamp a Happy Valentine's Day on the inside, but this doesn't have to just be a Valentine's Day. I mean, even though it's got those heart shapes, it could be, it'd be, be a great anniversary card or whatever, or just sending love to somebody. Okay, now then, I should have put this on first. Let me see if I can pull that up, dummy Jana. Okay. Well, at least I only have to pull that one. Okay. 
All right, now I am going to do this. I got excited decorating the thing and I forgot to put this piece on there. Okay. Now I want it to be right on the edge, both edges of the card here. Okay, now I've got some bling to put on there. Hi, Leah. This is the Noble Peacock rhinestones. And I'm going to use the um, pink color there. And let's see, where do I want... I think I'm going to do them a little bit different than I did on my sample. Put one down here. Okay, there it is, except for, let's do the Happy Valentine's Day on the inside. And I'm gonna use that one right there from the Meant to Be set. And if you missed it, I, I've got some cards to show you from the card making event I went to over the weekend so I will do that here in just a minute Always losing my stamps. And I'm going to go ahead and use the Mary Merlot. And I like to do an extra layer for the inside here, especially when there's a lot going on on the front because it makes the front of the card a little bit heavy and then the, the inside just feels so wimpy. So um, I just kind of like to do it that way. I don't do that all the time, just, just with certain cards. All right, I like it. I just like the whole vintage feel of it. Now, here is the sample that I did, and you can see what I did. First of all, I didn't have my hearts turning the way that I had intended to have them turn, so that started off right at the get-go. I do like uh, maybe the placement of my roses just a little bit better, 
but I was not happy with the way this came out at all, at all. And so that's when I sat and looked at it thinking, okay, what do I need to do? So I'm much happier with that. I could have just cut the perfume bottles cut out around the shape, but I didn't really feel like I would like that. They need, they needed to have something behind them anyway, so I'm happy with this one. Okay, now let me bring in the cards that we made at the stamp of stack. We go and my upline, um, and there's two gals that put it on, Joe and Penny, and so they each design these cards, and so we go and make two of each of five card designs. So there is that one, using that Meerkat set that you can get for free, and we just colored them all in so that it would look like a silhouette. And then my second one has a boo-boo on it because there happened to be when we went over and did the stamping on the Stamparatus, there was some ink on the magnet. So I think what I'm going to do right there is just put a little um, greeting label right there to cover that up. But those, I love the colors. This was fun. We did, we put a circle of, um, like a sticky note circle down. And then with daubers went around and did the colorful background. This is a piece of torn black cardstock there. Um, we stamped those guys first and colored them in. And then that, and well, and the trees. So cute. And then this one and that's with that um, free paper that you can get with a $50 purchase and then this set also you can get the stamp set with a $50 purchase with another $50 purchase you can get the paper and then there's a die set that coordinates too that I think you need a hundred dollar purchase for the die set and there it is in that color Very pretty. And then this, isn't that cute with that heart hanging over the branch there? And then it's that um, brick embossing folder. And the same thing just with a different piece of that Valentine paper and that Valentine paper has the foil on it. It's so cute. Okay, come on. And this is with that pretty magnolia paper and that's what the inside looks like and it's got three little pearls in the center there so one I did a thank you and the other one a happy birthday and you can just see the difference with using the white background on one and the black background on the other simple and just nice pretty good cards And then this one. Now mine were a little bit more pastel than um, the original ones that they had. And we watercolored the backgrounds there. And this is on that um, sparkly paper. What is that called? I have to look at it. 
the uh, shimmer paper. So I don't know if you can see the shimmer. The It's just got a really nice sparkle to it. But it also works really good for um, watercoloring. So yeah, mine, you can make these more vibrant, but um, mine came out a little pastel and I was happy with the way they turned out. And I think that's really pretty. Those pops of color with the black and white, I like it. So that is that. Bring this back in. Today's Valentine card. And then t uh, next week, I'll try to plan something using one of the, either the dog or the cat set. And then I, like I said, I won't, um, I won't do the labels and stuff on the stamps so that I can do it and you can see. I want to show you that tip. And I wish that I would have known that before I did all my other stamp sets because when I get a new set I always just immediately put the labels and stuff on but anyway it's a really good tip and I would try to explain it to you but it'd just be easier to show you so check in with me next Friday for Friday fun day and we will do that and I will have a dog or cat card to share with you Okay, thanks for joining me, you guys. I appreciate it so much. If there's anything you need to order from Stampin' Up, ignore this because this hostess code is no longer good, but there will be a new one starting tomorrow. But that's the address to my shopping site. And don't forget celebrations going on so you get a free item uh, with a $50 or $100 order. And um, it's also the perfect time to sign up if you'd like to with Stampin' Up! because the offer is unbelievable. You get so much stuff for $99. And I'd be happy to talk to you about that if you're interested. Just message me. Happy stamping, you guys. Have a great weekend and see you next week. Bye-bye.